still offline as investigators try to work out what went wrong. There were reports of explosions which we do not know the cause or source of at this time. Fire caused significant damage to Turbine 4, out of action for now. CS Energy is trying to get the other three turbines back up and running as soon as possible. This will be our priority today so we can work out a plan to bring those units back safely. Calide produces 16% of the state's energy. Power was cut to more than 470,000 customers in Queensland and northern New South Wales yesterday. Energy production has ramped up in other parts of the state to make up the shortfall. Nearly 700,000 households with rooftop solar, uh, solar farms, wind farms, pumped hydroelectricity and a fleet of coal-fired generators. Our power network could barely have faced a tougher test and I'm proud of the way it responded. The Australian energy market operator is forecasting more pressure on the network at peak time this evening. I can categorically confirm that we have enough electricity to, to supply households and businesses across this state, Mr Speaker. Commissioned in 2001, the Calide Sea coal-fired plant is one of Australia's youngest power stations. It's expected to keep operating for another 15 years. Billawila barber Steve Bates was among those who lost power and had to down tools yesterday. He says the town relies on 400 jobs at the power plant. Turning on a light switch is partly due to this town here. So we're an integral part of the statewide infrastructure for electricity in this, in this country. No jobs have been impacted by this. We'll continue to have our people working at site and we're going to progressively bring them back on site today and throughout the weekend as we can gain greater access. Tobias Jez-Lewis, ABC News, Billawila.